going on everyone? My name is Daniel and this is a 80 bucks Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. Yes, you heard it right. It's 80 bucks. But what did I buy for 80 bucks? What is the condition of this device? We're going to take a look at that in a minute. Now, as you can see, this is a S21 in the color Phantom Violet. It is a golden bezel with a purple back and it is, as you can see, in pretty good condition on the back. Now I'm gonna turn it around. There are no cracks on this display, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go around it. Look at this. The fingerprint scanner is working. And as you can see, this is it. It is working. It's a perfectly working Samsung Galaxy S21. To be honest, that was a killer deal. But you can already tell that there's a problem with the screen. It's a minor issue if you ask me. It's got a black spot here in the AMOLED. And if you see, if, and if you can tell very closely, it has a little nick and it seems like the phone has been dropped. Probably that is why it has a black spot. But in general, it doesn't look like it has any burn in. So, for what I can tell, the screen isn't burned in. You can test everything like this. And uh, yeah, you probably know this is the uh, Samsung hidden test menu. And it is very important that you are aware of that when you're buying a phone like this. Because you want to make sure that everything is working the way it's intended. And as you can see, this is the touchscreen test and it will pass the touchscreen test no problem it's a perfectly good working phone it just has a couple buttons going on um, just three it has a plastic back which isn't that bad we have a grip sensor um, you can just go ahead and test this entire phone like that in this menu we also have the Samsung members which is a thing that I had to use to test the charging capability because I bought this phone with the knowledge that there is a black spot in the display and there is a problem with the charging. So according to the seller, it would shut off when you're trying to charge this device. However, this only happened once for me and um, so far it has been charging fine. However, it does seem to charge intermittently like it does have interrupts. So I'm just gonna plug in this JBL cable. Currently, as you can see, it just works. There it is. And now it stops charging and now it goes again. They already replaced the charging part on this device, but maybe they didn't, because I can see that it slightly has a little bit of play. Now, I don't know what happens if I wobble, but nothing really, it doesn't disconnect anymore. So there's no longer an interrupt. It has 78%. I can just unplug this thing and charge it later. But basically, I have a perfectly good working phone for only 80 bucks and it's one of Samsung's actual flagship models. The S21 is of course the cheapest version but uh, it has a 120 Hz display. It has full apps apart still. It's a great phone. It has good audio. The phone has dual SIM. It's an awesome color, not gonna lie. This is a pretty cool color. You know it has a dynamic AMOLED However, it's uh, it's only a 1080p screen, so yeah, it, uh, it doesn't really look bad. AMOLED always looks pretty good. So you've got Android 13, it just has enough support. We have 8 gigs of RAM, we have a good camera. We actually have three cameras. Well, I used to make videos on phones before, now I don't. But just to be fair, it has a lot of good features. It has a fingerprint scanner, it has face recognition, it has all app support, it's 128 gigs, unfortunately no expandable memory. Well, my main phone ha doesn't have it either, but yeah, I'm used to it having on Samsung, but uh, it's in decent condition. It has some scratches on the display, but of course it will happen. The back, it is, it's not mint, but it's not like... I say this is a fair condition, honestly. As long as there are no cracks, it does have some major scratches, but that stuff is going to happen anyway. It's gonna happen. You can't really stop that unless you're using a screen protector. Not everyone uses that. But yeah, in general, I think for 80 bucks, this is a really good buy. We got the Instagram. We can just go on Instagram, look at the page, scroll, it's fast. I actually put my SIM card in this phone. I used it for a little bit 
this is just an incredible device you know it's a nice phone and for 80 bucks I'm not gonna complain not at all this is just a perfectly usable phone for the money and with that charging issue I could just say yeah sometimes the charging gets interrupted but it does charge and it has wireless charging but it, I can charge it from the cable the phone doesn't turn off there is something internally with this phone and my question for you guys is do you have any idea what is wrong with this device and yeah if you can let me know because as long as I don't really see a big problem I'm not gonna open it up but um, when I'm gonna plan on reselling this thing which I might I I'm really curious what you guys say so um, do you think that I should just stay with my Galaxy Note 9 and use this one for a secondary device or would you say use this one which has the 120Hz display and a lot better specs in general and keep it for what it is because honestly I wouldn't mind using this as my secondary phone it's fast, it's smooth, it looks nice it has 8 gigs of RAM it's better than my S10 which I no longer have it's a good phone I enjoy using this device so if you recognize these problems with the charging let me know in the comment section below if you know what it is so I can fix it and uh, with that out of the way I think this is gonna be enough of this video it does everything really nice it's smooth it's it's quick it's uh, it's a fast device it looks good and honestly I might regret selling it but um, yeah it's uh, what would you guys do <laughs> and what do you think of the deal if you uh, would, if, would you have paid 80 bucks for a S21 in this condition or would you just leave it for what it is and be like ah. let me know in the comment section below and uh, yeah thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like leave a comment and if you're new to my channel don't want to miss out on any new content in the future don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching this video and see y'all later peace out